The War Tales. Hello and welcome folks. Otto here with a follow-up video to my War Tales Beginner's Guide for Thieves. Today we're going to cover a few topics that I missed and I'm also going to give you a few tips on what types of items to steal now that your thief has leveled up a bit. First off, how can we reduce the suspicion meter faster? Now this is extremely important for active thieves. One way we can do this is by delivering prisoners to the jail. This reduces your suspicion by 20 while also collecting a nice bounty. The next way we can reduce suspicion is in the Knowledge Compendium. The skill Artful Dodgers, your companions are honing the criminal skills and learning to master the art of stealth. So the bonus is the suspicion meter depletes 10% faster. This is really handy for thieves who are really active, which is what I recommend. Just to recap my philosophy for stealing is steal often, but steal items that will be used quickly so that the stolen goods don't linger in your inventory. If you do, however, uh, come across something of value that you want to steal and you need to launder it, the way you can do that is with the camp chest. Place items you wish to keep in the chest and assign thief launder the items stolen during rest period. So you just assign your thief and the items, you place them in the camp chest and they will slowly launder. I don't have any items here because I, I don't typically, I don't use this very often. Occasionally I will use it, but that's how you launder your items. It does take a few turns to get that done. All right, the next way we can reduce our suspicion level is in the crime and chaos paths area. So there's a few really great, uh, or a couple of great traits here. We've got innocence. Successful thief needs to look as innocent as possible and know how to keep a low profile. So the suspicion meter depletes 10% faster. So that's 20% that we've got the suspicion meter depleting, which means we can steal more often and just take full advantage of all those free goods that are out there for you. And then this and doesn't deplete the suspicion meter, but it helps uh, keep the suspicion meter from getting high. So nimble fingers, your companions are getting better at stealing stealthily. Bonus, suspicion reduced by 20% during a theft. So very good bonuses, critical to your thieving ways. Now let's cover a few items that I like to recommend stealing. We are just north of Tiltrin here at the Highland Trackers Camp and there's some really nice items in here that we can pilfer. We talked to Hunter Banger here. Don't Most of these items to sell require I'm in need of fangs the to fangs to purchase. Um, I don't recommend stealing uh, most of this stuff. I mean, you can if you want. Uh, the trap is is nice if you've got a lot of a uh, lot of animals in your party. This is good to supplement your food intake, uh, getting those meat items. But what we're, we're here, really here to look for is some of these blueprints. These are really nice. We've got um, meat drying rack. Um, I'm not crazy about the meat drying rack to be perfectly honest. But anyway, what what I'm really looking for is the recipe for. Uh, cabbage perch. Uh, this is a nice recipe to add to your to add to your repertoire. And then we've also got these are excellent. Uh, the blueprints for reinforced armor. So let's just we'll steal one of the items. We'll come back for the recipe for cabbage perch another time. But why don't we pick up the defenders reinforced layer, and then we can also. We can uh, learn the recipe right away. There we go. Reinforced layer added to the compendium. No stolen goods in the inventory. Really nice spot to pick up some good items here. All right, my next stop on recommended places to steal items is just southwest of Stromcap. This is the Brotherhood Training Grounds. Let's go ahead and enter. And we're going to talk to the hired goon Bartov. If one of your companions so, doesn't carry their weight, don't be afraid to teach them new skills. Here we we've got a number of for a price manuals that can add to your skills. So this these sort of items I highly recommend stealing. However, you'll have to be a little bit higher level thief because they are a little bit more expensive. So we've got a, a seventy 
to a 115 chance to uh, to steal without getting caught. My personal favorite is first aid manual. I like to have all of my party members with this skill just in case. You never know when things are going to go sideways. This is um, definitely a nice trait. So we're going to go ahead and try and steal this. Plus 89. Got away with it. Uh, it'll take a little while for our suspicion to deplete. But there we go. We've got another item in the inventory. We can, if we bring up our list of companions, who uh, who needs this? Um, okay, we've got Odin here, or Thor. Oh, Odin's already got it. Thor doesn't have it. Uh, let's just go ahead and add the skill to Thor. And there we go. Adds to his list of skills. And no more item in the inventory that was stolen. All right, our final stop for today is at the Stromcap Apothecary. We're going to talk to Bianca here. My concoctions can heal and the we're going to steal injuries. another recipe. Be sure to hold on to the vials after using so either or, whatever you prefer. Um, we'll definitely be back for the second one at some point. We'll just want our suspicion to go down before that. That's another thing that I should note is that you should be stealing these items when your suspicion is low, when you're not risking here 35 to 60, 35 to 60. There's no risk that will go over 100. So uh, we'll just grab the sharpening oil here. And let's bring up our and then we can learn in the compendium boom sharpening oil got rid of the stolen good and we're good to go well I hope this has been helpful for you guys in your life of crime I think we've proved that crime does pay if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and yeah have a great day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will uh, see you in the next one. <laughs>